we're going to have a look at like terms in algebra. We start with a simple example using numbers. If this little length is a length of 5, um, and we want to measure how far it is from A to B, if we put two little lengths next to each other, we can see that this length from A to B is 5 plus 5, which we could also write as 2 times 5, which is 10. Now if we consider a square that has a side length of 5, then we know that the area of the square is 5 times 5, which we can also write as 5 squared. The thing I want you to notice here, that there's a very different story if we're adding or if we're multiplying. 5 plus 5 remains a length, and it's a length of 2 times 5, which is 10, whereas 5 times 5, 5 squared, is an area. And we're going to get the same story when we get to algebra. If, in this case, we use y to stand for the length of that line. Now remember, y can stand for any number. So y is the length of that line. Again, if we measure the length from A to B, then here we put down two yellows and that gives us the length from A to B. And so what we can say, the length of AB is y plus y, which is two lots of y. And remember, in algebra, we often don't write that multiplication sign, so we just say 2y. If we look at the square, which has a side length of y, its area will be y times y, which is y squared. The area of a square is y times y, which is y squared. And again, the thing I'm wanting you to notice is y plus y is a length and it's 2y, whereas y times y is a square, is an area of a square, which is y squared. Now if we consider a different length, let's say a length of x, and we put a few of those x lengths together, like this, what we have is x plus x plus x plus x to give us that total length now. So that total length is 4 lots of x, which in algebra we just write as 4x. Now if we consider that length of x and we add to it our length of y, can we try and say that this is like xy, 4xy, 4, what can we say it is? Can we simplify it from that statement that our total length there now is x plus y? The answer to that is no. X and Y are two different lengths. They're, two, they're not like terms, so we cannot add them together and simplify. Very tempting it might be to write it as XY, right? But remember, XY is X multiplied by Y, and when you're multiplying two variables together, you're going to end up with the area of the rectangle. So XY is very different to x plus y. We can't simplify x plus y because we don't have like terms. If instead we had x plus x plus y, we do have some like terms there because we've got two little red lengths and we can add those two red lengths together. And so we can simplify this to say we've got 2x plus y. We can't go further than that because y is not a like term with x. To be a like term, it has to be the same variable. But even more than that, if we had y squared and we want to add y to it, these we cannot this we cannot simplify any further because even though they've both got y in it, they've got different exponents. And y squared is that area of the square, whereas y is the length. So you cannot just put those two together and simplify it any further. You can, they are not like terms, so it has to stay as y squared plus y. It would be no problem if you had 5 squared, for example, plus 5 squared, then that total area there, you can see you've just got the 5 squared, which is 25, another 5 squared, 25 in total. You've got two lots of 25, which is 50, so two lots of 5 squared. So that's going to be the same story. If you've got a y squared and you add another y squared to it, there's no problem because you're adding the same type of thing, the areas together, and so you'll get 2y squared as your answer. 
So as long as the variable letter as well as the exponent are the same, so you've got like terms, you can add, you can simplify. Okay, let's quickly see if we can. you can do these. Pause the video now and try. See which of these you can simplify and which you can't. All right, hopefully you got that nice and easily. In the first one, you've got a y squared and a y. These are not like terms because y squared is the square, whereas y is just the length, so you can't simplify. But 3y plus 2y, you can because you've got three yellow lengths plus two yellow lengths in total. It's going to be a length that is five yellow lengths long. 3x plus 2y, that one, you they're not like terms. You can't simplify because it's like you've got the three reds and the two yellows. You can't simplify. The next one. You've got one of those yellow squares plus three of those yellow squares. You've got four yellow squares in total, an area that is the size of four yellow squares. In the last one, you haven't got like terms y and xy, two totally different things, and so you can't simplify.